are here today, Pro World at Home. Uh, I'm Danielle, and this is my daughter. Deanna. And my husband behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're tuning in today, uh, let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you. Um, just to kind of start out before, before we get started with our task here, um, I just want to thank you all so very much for sending in some photos uh, for our share, save, and support quilt. The numbers are growing. I love seeing all the pictures come through. Um, there are a couple of you that have been watching our Facebook Live, so I really appreciate that. Uh, some vinyl scrap designs and some uh, coloring onto Jet Pro paper. So that, above all, is like what I love to see. Um, so please keep sending in those uh, those pictures so that way you can uh, get that $10 coupon as well as uh, those efforts to support the Feeding America um, donation. So please uh, keep sending them in. We we are really enjoying seeing all of them and watching that quilt grow. Hey, from Texas, Debbie. Hello. All right. So we are going to be doing reverse weeding. And uh, as many of you know, Signed vinyl can be tricky at times. Sometimes it sticks to that carrier sheet, doesn't want to come off, uh, or the pieces are really kind of small. So this is just a different technique. So the, the first way you can do it is basically how, how you would naturally do signed vinyl. And that is peeling back the corner and doing it this way. And then once you get, you're watching very closely, I see that. Once everything peels up. Oh. Hey, from North Carolina, Georgia, oh. Arizona, see, New Hampshire. If we zoom in here, see, as you can see, as I'm peeling it up, my little dots kind of didn't stay on my carrier sheet. And this could happen with small designs like this. So we're gonna show you just another option. So you can see my, my poor little dots. Pop it out and pull can't it Can't see, you can't see here. I'll go a little closer for you. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I literally Get close enough. just got up to the head of the camera. Oh, you can only do that here, folks. All right. So let me get my little dot back. All right, so this is the way you would naturally do sign vinyl. Uh, not mistakes like this, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to kind of do another option. I had to watch where the camera's coming from now. I... It's okay, I'm, I'm watching it. Jeez, Dad, you're going closer to me now. You're gonna give me a heads up, right? So I don't bump my head again. All right, all right, I'll try. Sure. Shout out to Connecticut. Southern California. How's the weather out there? I was just thinking that. Oh, get out of my head. Okay, so, so this is how you would do it. And then you take your tape, stick it on, and then peel it off. Here's another way. Go Let's close. do. Wow, he's super close. <laughs> okay, so here's another another way to do this. I am going to take my woo my weeding box. <laughs> Come on, weeding box. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take my tape, my application tape, and I'm gonna cut it to the size that I need. And I'm gonna stick my tape onto my design first. Mitch is watching. Hi. If I can get the tape off. Nana's watching. You say Nana's watching? Yeah, Nana's watching. Oh. Say hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. <laughs> okay. Ooh. No tape, don't do that. Okay. I see that dog hair it's just totally interfering in my project here. Udo, how dare you get dog hair on this? Sorry. Okay. Coming in close. All right, coming in close. Coming in close. 
All right, so you're getting your tape. I told you 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 stick it. the whole box. Peel it off the carrier. Oh, stay on there, little dot. Now, everything is there. I'm going to weed from my application tape. And this will hopefully help all those tiny little areas stay where they need to be because the application tape is a bit stronger than the carrier sheet. See my little dot stayed up at the top. And sign vinyl, you do want to take your time. Don't go quick with it because once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, and now I'm just going to go in and get the rest of these little guys out. Northern California said the weather has been perfect. Oh, jealous. Very jealous. Yep. Space Coast. Where is the Space Coast? Where is that located? Back. They're getting there. What? What? Never thought of doing it that way. That is. That uh, is 651. 655. Oh, yeah. Oracle 651 is what we're using. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Uh, Florida. Yes. Hey, my Florida people. <laughs> Florida. I like Florida. You like Florida for Disney. No, I like I like Florida for the beach. Like for the, the beach? beach, we have the beach here in New Jersey. You don't uh, like our beach? Yeah, but it's not the same. Oh, it is not the same. The water is not as clean as in Florida. In Florida, a fish went around my ankle. We that right. doesn't happen here. No. So. Okay, so now we're done. That's all ready to go. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna take off these pieces from my finger. I'll put this here for now. And all you have to do now is take this design to your mug. So that's it, Gigi. Hello, New York. Whoop, whoop. All right, well, I'm doing this. Did you want to do that other one? Yeah. Okay, so you start weeding that one, and then I'll show everybody how to stick this on your mug surface. I just take this one off, right? Yeah, you take that one off, and then you peel from the corner. Take your time. Easy. Seriously, Daddy? Yeah, all okay. in your space. All right. I'll, I'll wait to put this on the mug until she's going to weed that. I'm just I'm just overlooking. Pretend I'm just a second camera. All right. Well, but you I, weed. Go ahead. Mommy, go to the, to the mug. Oh, all right. All right. So now you're going to take this and just place it on your mug where you'd like it. So I think this is a tricky mug, but pushing it like this so that it's helps you f and then flatten it out. I think this is probably good. There's really no uh, bad way to put this on a mug. All right, and then rub it out. Why is the uh, flower thing isn't coming off? Okay, I'll take a look, whoops, get down. Take a look in a second for you. And if any part lifts like it did, just stick it back down. It's okay. Actually, this is not Oracle 651. This is 641. I'm sorry, because it's a matte finish. 651 has a glossy, but this is matte. And ta-da! Uh, Butch says, how long does that last in a dishwasher? It's not really recommended for dishwasher. Now, I'm going to admit it. I have dishwashed my stuff. And it has stayed on just fine. Um, but Oracal doesn't advertise dishwasher safe. So um, I would recommend not dishwashing to have it last a bit longer and to keep that longevity. Uh, Mitch so says, here. does the vinyl last longer if you use dishwasher safe Mod Podge? I've never tried dishwasher safe Mod Podge uh. on um, the vinyl. Oh. oh. Gigi's. <laughs> so Gigi, unfortunately, have, has never worked with uh, 
signed vinyl before and has stuck it onto itself. And if anybody has worked with signed vinyl, um, we can't fix it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do I have another? Oh, I have another little one for this one. So we'll we'll try it on this. Hey, Aunt Lisa's on. Aunt Lisa? Mm-hmm. She says hi. Hi. All right. So we'll do this other design. And we'll kind of... If you guys have any questions... Right in. I am willing to read. <laughs> You're not going to answer them? <laughs> oh, I'll, I mean, I'll, I will answer to the best of my ability. Just willing to read them, but not willing to answer them. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Uh, Butch's comment said, come on, put Junior to work. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. Okay, we're almost done getting this one down. Oh, come here. Is FDC dishwasher safe? Uh, uh, um, uh. When it first came out, we advertised that it was dishwasher safe. Whoops. Um, but finding now, most of the sign vinyl is will last best if not placed in the dishwasher. Cause dishwashers are running pretty hot. Oh. Carlin asks, is the dishwasher Mod Podge, uh, does it seal the edges? Uh, oh, the dishwasher Mod Podge does seal the edges. Yes, I think so. Uh, Eugene said, can that go on the walls? Walls? Uh, six, 51 or 41 can go on walls, but this is considered permanent. If you want to do one that uh, not quite permanent that can go on a wall surface, you would use 631, I believe is the number. Um, mm. That's the removable vinyl. Uh, Dominique says, uh, totally off topic, but do you think the Oracle 651 or 641 would stick to a candle? Like the wax side of the candle? Um, that's a very good question. You know, I have a candle in the back. Can you yeah. go grab that for me? The colorful one you painted? Um, yes, there's a candle inside there. We'll, we'll test it out and see. Um, I think if once you start burning it, probably it won't work out. Um, but if you're just using it for decoration purposes, we'll see if it sticks. Because I'm not really sure. I've never tried it on wax before. We have the candle holder thing in the bathroom, too. Yeah, that one has a thing around it, though. Okay, so let's yes, see. Yes, it will stick to a candle. Thank you, Midge. But oh. we're going to try it out. <laughs> I was going to say, well, in that case. Um, yes, not for burning, just decor. Yeah, well, we're going to try it out and see what happens. You know what? We'll not going to burn this, it. We'll use this little heart right here since that didn't. Um... But that's a good, good idea. Oh, I smell something good. Oh, wait, that's a candle. Never mind. The candle smells good. I thought there was more food on the end. I was like, no, you said you weren't hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> I How many people have kids that eat all day long I now that's school? Just, before this happened, I seriously asked Mom if for a chocolate bunny. <laughs> this is horrible. What? At least it's not breakfast. It's not breakfast here, people, so please don't, don't judge us. <laughs> Afternoon, still they eat lunch. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, are you snitching? Hold on, it, it stuck and then came right off. Let's see if I have to. It is on there. Oh, uh, battery it? operated candle? Tricky. We have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, Lisa. I'm trying. <laughs> it's right there. Do you see it? Yeah. Actually, so does it? Yes. Like one of these with a little. Ta -da. If yep. this is the case, then yes, this will it will absolutely work on one of these because it has a plastic casing. Dominique says, "What is that, and where can I find it?" What are you talking about, Dominique? <laughs> <laughs> Too fast. Gotta Daddy. need some etiquette. Too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I get right to it. Let's peel the rest of this off so we could put this on the other mug. And then you're gonna put it on the mug? 
Who, me? Yeah, you. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> We've lost her, folks. <laughs> Acetate wrap. Oh, okay. So you guys are having your own conversation in the comments here. I'm, I'm just reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as somebody's helping, it's all that matters. Just read. Just read. Just read it. Now you can do this technique um, with a larger product. So like if you were to do it on the tile that we have over there, um, this is a bigger one. So it's not necessarily meant for small ones. But as you can see, this, this makes it so much easier because it's already stuck to the tape. And then you just take the tape and go to your product rather than weeding everything away, hoping that the tape sticks, and then taking it to the product. Okay, hold it up. Oh, it did stick. Yep. I wouldn't recommend burning it though. No. Because I, th I think when you burn it, like, mm -hmm. it's going to get how it usually is and, like, drip onto the part. Yeah. Okay. Can you put in a lunch order? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> okay. So now. Gigi, that's for you. You even wanted with the restaurant? Oh yeah, it's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gigi, you gonna you ready here? Nope. Which mug? <laughs> the mug. blue one. My mug from my bakery. All oh. right. So, which side of the mug do you want to do with that side? That side. All right. Lay it down, and you're just gonna go like, like that. Push down in the middle, and then yes. just squish out to the edges. Okay. All right. Let's see if she gets it. <laughs> Put it where you want it. Is it straight? One in close. A little crooked, but that's okay. All right, and now we're just going to take this and push it all down. Too far. Back up, back up. Good. You have to boss me. <laughs> Sometimes when you can see this, this particular mug is kind of going in at the bottom. So sometimes it's helpful just to, to cut the tape. Cut it. So that way you can place this part down and have it nice and smooth still. Place it. And then it. that one, it won't affect this one here. Affect it. Thank you for that. <laughs> and then if you do have bubbles, we'll show you how to get rid of the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> Which says he's happy now, <laughs> yay. <laughs> what kind of vinyl is that? This is Oracle six forty one fifty. This is I think this is glossy. We'll we'll see in a minute. If it's uh, glossy, then it's six fifty one. I knew it was a six fifty. Whoopsies! Get down. There we go. And stay down. Perfect. Uh, Whitmo, we will check in a second if it's glossy or not. This is matte. This so is matte. this is six forty one. Voila. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now we just have to make nine more of these. Nine more? <laughs> Whoa. I did I wanted, not sign up for that. I went in all my blue mugs. All right, so there you go. There's this one and this one. And then we just have to do this big coffee well, container well, that we will do <laughs> off camera. We will. Goodbye, people. We're going to eat my chocolate with coffee. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, I guess she's done. I've totally lost my assistant here. Um, do we have any other questions? That's it. Okay. Chocolate Unless people want to, I mean, if people want to chime in, is that yours or mine? You're mine. Okay. Unless people want to chime in with comments and questions, concerns. Oh my gosh. Have at it. <laughs> you are not going to eat that right here. All right. Well. With that being said, uh, I think that we're good here. Um, so please try this reverse weeding technique. It will probably save you a lot of headaches uh, when decorating with Stein vinyl. And uh, please, if you haven't done so already, share out your photos for our, uh, our together quilt. We would love to see them. I, I can't wait to see what other pictures you guys have to send uh, for us. And 
Oh, no. uh, <laughs> Another comment. Yeah, Butch said, Mommy's, <laughs> Mommy made mugs. Are you making PB&J? Uh, she doesn't <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly. I like peanut so butter and jelly. I will, no. I will make my own peanut butter and jelly later. Uh, Midge says, what do the mugs say? Can you hold them up a little bit? Because oh, I yeah. can't get in there. Uh, fuel mom, or mom fuel. mom fuel. Wow, sorry. See, that's... And, and uh, bake someone happy. Bake someone happy. I picked that saying. Yes. Uh, so, mom fuel is definitely needed at the moment. I think I'm going to go make myself a cup. Got but, it. But mom fuel can actually... You put this on a wine glass, and it has a whole nother meaning. So... You know, a lot of options out here. This, and this one was, oh, uh, where did I get this? I don't know. Dollar General. No, the, Not the, mug. the mug itself. But uh. the design definitely came from um, Design Bundles. So I purchased the SVG off Design Bundles. So take a look at that. Um, the, the real file looks like this with uh, little extra details in it. Um, but... The cutter was giving me a hard time, so I removed those. But you can definitely uh, go in with a full, the full kind of design that they have on the website. Okay. Uh, Seashore T asks, is the, is the only difference between the five, the 641 and the 651 is the matte versus glossy? Yes. That's the only difference. Um, same, same everything, same longevity. Um but it has that matte finish instead of a glossy. Some people don't like a full gloss appearance, so it's a, a good alternative. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. I'll be here for the next few weeks as we are in lockdown. <laughs> lockdown? Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, would you recommend this process or larger canvas projects? Ask Terry. For larger canvas? No, or... Uh, no, would you recommend this process on larger canvas projects? Yeah, you can, if, if sign vinyl is one of those things that, that bothers you with sticking the tape down after you've weeded everything and hoping everything peels up, that then yes, me. this, <laughs> this is a great option. It's just a different, different technique of how to use the sign vinyl. Um, <laughs> but I found it to be much easier because it. The tape itself has much more of a stickiness to it, and uh, it won't let that signed vinyl release as easy as it lets it release on here. Uh, Ron asks, uh, did you say what vinyl cutter you use to cut smaller letters? I use the Silhouette Cameo 4 uh, cutter to do it. And, you know, adjusting your cut settings definitely helps. And I've also found with sign vinyl, this particular sign vinyl, I, I had it rolled up for a really long time, and I don't know if anybody else out there, but sometimes it bubbles off the carrier sheet. Put that sign vinyl on your, um, your cutting mat, or on your mat that goes into your cutter, and squish it all down so all those bubbles go away, and then cut it, and it'll be fine. So if you do experience some... Um, Kind of rippling. I don't. I don't know if that's. Thanks, Butch. We'll we'll discuss uh, rotating families. <laughs> um, but if you have that where it like releases a little bit, that's a good uh, tip to lay it on that cutting mat, squeegee it down, and then send it through your cutter to cut, so it's nice and smooth. Okay, Ron. Uh, Seashore T also asks, what is the kind of tape you use? This is that Oracal uh, tape. So, um, oh, here it is. Or tape. So, uh, that's what I use. Caesar also has an application tape. The main difference between the two of them is that Caesar has grid lines on the tape. I don't know if you can, can you see that? No. Caesar had grid lines on the tape itself. Okay. Whereas the Oracal has grid lines on the back, but not on the tape. It really is personal preference, uh, which you prefer. Sometimes it's really nice to have the grid lines on your product to help you line things up. Um, but if you find that they get distracting, then the Oracal tape is a good a good alternative option. Okay. Terry also asks, are you going to share your craft room or how you store your stuff? At oh, home? yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. No, it's messy. <laughs> yes. yes, very 
yes, yes, yes. When you go on the quilt, um, that is my craft space. The very first picture is uh, me and Gianna sitting in front of my computer. Next to my computer is actually my art desk because I, I paint. Um, I have an art picture and then, of me on my phone. And then right now I have all my vinyl in drawers, but... Different drawers. In different There's drawers. There's one under my desk, which is for, so weird for some reason. I can't yeah. even talk right now, too. <laughs> But we did just get in these really great vinyl storage bins. Um, they're under our new product section on our website. I'll put a link in. So if you have um, that that <laughs> what? big problem of how to store your vinyl, those are really uh, pretty handy, your vinyl storage. What? Wow. Bins. <laughs> no, Mitch just said that is okay. You can clean and organize before next week. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> My house is so tiny. You have no idea, that, Midge. That will not work. We'll need a whole well, month. Please. But That's Midge anyway, also did house. say. My space is tiny. Midge did say, what is, what's next week? What's happening next week? I next, will be doing it. No, well, soon. She <gasps> wants to take over, everybody. So soon we will uh, pass the torch, I guess, to Gianna to have her test it out. But tomorrow or next week, we're actually going to do the masks. Seriously? So we're going to get the face masks that are going to come in hopefully Wednesday. Come on, UPS. Uh, do this for us. Um, but by Wednesday, we should get them in. Um, and then we're going to do a tutorial about how to press the masks uh, to sublimate on them. And to hopefully put vinyl and custom transfers on them. We're going to test it all out and see how they hold up, how they work. Um, so that's going to be next week. I found a princess face mask. A princess face mask. So I guess that's the one I'm going to be making. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? No. Great for next week. No, that is it. All right. Oh, no. out. <laughs> what? Because she had chocolate. Oh, my gosh. She had chocolate. I had a roll and a piece of my It's done now. The whole rest of the day, this is, this is what it's going to be. My Barbie dolls are upstairs. <laughs> Never mind. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. And I appreciate you uh, going through this, this crazy craziness with us. Yes. Um, and again, please share your photos. Uh, we love to see them. And we will see you all here next yeah. week. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.